Welcome to this video about doing a software as a service solution with an end-to-end sign-up process, meaning that the customer can sign up and they will get your solution, in this case a simulated help desk in the cloud as well as an attached reporting component where ClickSense is used as the report engine to give the customer insights into the data hosted in the SaaS solution. The flow in this scenario is a customer signs up providing their details and clicking register. Next, there will automatically be created a new database for each customer. It could also be just one database where the customer data separation was done on an ID and the reload script was designed accordingly. But in this case, we are creating a new database for each customer. Then we have a management database that controls which logins are related to which customer database. We also have the Click Management Console, or QMC, where you control the ClickSense backend. In a scenario like this where you have multiple customers on the same ClickSense installation, you will typically have a copy of a template where the only difference is the reload script pointing to different databases. You will create a stream and security in the stream, so customers only can see their own data, as well as the tasks and reload schedules to make sure data are automatically refreshed. All of this will be fully automated by using the Click QRS API. In the end, the customer will see a similar app with only their own data. In this case, the customer has 67 high-priority cases, but if another customer logs in, they will see a different number. This is what happens in the sign-up process. When the customer logs in, they will provide the login credentials, the ones just created in the sign-up process. Of course, if you already have a lot of customers, you can just attach the report to your existing customer base, meaning that no new databases will be created, only the reporting component. Then, for future customers, the full flow will be running. There are different options to which to redirect the user when signing in. You can take the user directly to a mashup, designed with your own look and feel, together with some visualizations from ClickSense. Or you can take the user directly to the application, which is only possible if you are using the Click Enterprise server, not the QAP. You can also take them to the ClickSense hub or to your own portal, which is the interface where you are showing everything else around your solution. Then there will be a button which will take the user to the reporting part. Let's try to sign up with a new customer, which we will call New Cust1. Just copy it down to the other fields and click Register. If we look in the Click Management Console, we can see that the new customer now has its own application based on the template. It has its own stream where the app is published, and a new task has been created and has already been reloaded for the first time. A reload schedule has also been configured to reload every hour in the future. And of course, security has been attached to the stream, so the customer only can see their own data when logging in. Let's try to do a sign-in. As you can see, there are multiple sign-in options for demo purposes. Let's use the Login to Mashup option. I will provide the credentials, and now we can see that we are redirected to the Help Desk web page with 65 high priority, 125 medium, and 185 low priority cases. This is the interface every customer will see, but the numbers will be different depending on what they have in their database. If I go to sign up again, we can try to create a customer number 2. Copy the other fields and click register. Now that everything is created, let us go to the login and provide the credentials. 
you will see the same interface, but the numbers differ from the first customer. This is because the reload script has been modified to reach the correct database as part of the sign-up process. This data or app separation is controlled with security on the streams. Let's take a look at one of the other sign-in options, which will take us to the ClickSense Hub. We'll provide the credentials for Customer 2. We can see that Customer 2 will only see their support stream, and we should be able to recognize the numbers we saw from their mashup, which are correct, 66, 128, and 188. Let's try to sign in to the hub with Customer 1. We only see one support stream and one application. The numbers in the app match what we saw in the mashup when logging in as Customer 1. In this way, the entire SaaS sign-up process can be automated by using the ClickSense QRS API. Thanks for watching.